I'm going to go ahead and add this 50 gram to the mass hanger and see how the graph changes or what happens to the value. I just added 50 gram. Now if we look at the graph, oh we see now the value of the force has changed right here, the cold. I can also just say collect and then it's going to show me the value here. I can stop that and then so here we have a graph on a y axis we have force in Newton, on x axis we have time in seconds. And the force, this force is a constant force and it's given here which is 2.95 Newton. Let me add another mass. Uh, I'm going to add 100 gram. So I added earlier, I added 50 gram with 250 gram we had earlier, so we made total 300 gram mass. On the top of that uh, 300 gram, I'm going to add another 100 gram here. So that makes total of 400 gram of mass. So we see that is uh, reflected here, but let's uh, do again collect. So we see a graph here again with the constant force and the amount is 3.93 Newton. On the top of that 400 gram I'm going to add 200 gram again so that makes it 600 gram. So my uh, setup is not stable. I will, let's do this. Instead of 200, let's add another 100 grams. So let's take out this 200 gram. So I got two more of the 50 gram, another 50 gram, so that will be 100 gram. And I'm going to add this to this setup. Now let's collect the data again. So this was for total of 600, total of 500 gram and then we got here force of 4.9 Newton. 